Hello, in this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the pickup page from the EasyShip dashboard. This feature allows you to manage your pickups and take actions on them, including rescheduling, canceling, and contacting the courier for support. Let's take a look. From the EasyShip dashboard, you can access the pickups page from the navigation menu on the left. Just click on the pickups link, and this will take you to the pickups page where you can see all of the pickups and handovers you have booked after you have purchased your shipping labels. On this page, you will have three main filters, pickups happening, pickups requested failed, and estimated courier no-show. Let's look at the pickups happening filter. This filter will show you the pickups that are happening in the current window. For example, we can see that Air Max is scheduled to arrive today between 10 and 6. This is updated hourly to provide the most accurate estimates on your pickups. The second filter is pickups requested failed. These are the pickups where the request to the courier system has not been successful. This could be due to a technical error on their side or an issue with the information provided to them. This will need to be resolved before the pickup can commence. The third filter is estimated courier no-show and it's important. These are the pickups where the courier has failed to show up for one reason or another. In a moment, we'll show you which actions you can take to resolve these issues. Now let's take a look at the actions you can take. These will be dependent on the status of the pickup and the courier. First, when the status is requested failed, you can click on the pencil icon under actions. This will bring up the pickup address where you can see the error message at the time alerting you to the problem with the address. Once you fix the error with the address, you'll click update, and then you'll see that the pickup is now requested back on the main page. Now if you click on the truck icon, you'll have the option to change and reschedule the pickup. You'll get a pop-up again, allowing you to add the new time and details. If you need to cancel a pickup, just click on the X, a box will pop up asking you to confirm the cancellation, and once you do that, a message will be sent to the courier to cancel the scheduled pickup. The next action you can take is mark as resolved. This is an important one. For example, under estimated courier no-show, there might be times where you know and can confirm the pickup was made. So you can click on this to resolve and confirm that it was actually made. The last section is contact the courier for support. This will be available for select couriers. When you click on it, you'll receive a pop-up module with all of the contact information for the courier. If after you try to contact them, they still can't fix the pickup, you then have the option at the bottom to report the issue. After you click on it, it'll send an email to have the pickup fixed. When you return to the main screen, you'll now see issue reported under the request status. Those are the features on the pickup page. This will be your go-to destination to monitor any issues and resolve them for your pickups. If you have any questions, please reach out to us or check out our help center for more information and tutorials. Happy shipping.